Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last video we kind of messed around in Bean Bean Castle Town, did a lot of side quests and stuff, and even caught a ghost. But anyway, um, I can show you now, well first I'm going to heal up, definitely, I forgot to do that, so let's do that first thing. And I can show you the uh, two co coffee things that we brewed, the Colombian and the Chuckachino. Such weird names to say, I mean they don't sound that bad I guess, but try to say them like to yourself and it's like, okay, that is kind of weird. Cool little play on words, but they raise your maximum stats, so that's why they're pretty awesome. I'm going to give them both to Mario, because Mario's lagging behind quite a bit in stats. Although I think he, he gets a little bit of growth later on, but still, whatever. Let's make our way to... Oh, I didn't even show the next area on the map that we have to go to, but it's in the southeast corner of the map. It is the Woohoo University, the new layer of Cackletta and Fawful and all those nasty things. Let's get rid of those Sharpies. One thing I do have to say about this game, though, that I wish they really included was, I guess, an equivalent of the first strike badge, because... These weaker enemies, like, they even attack the Luigi from the back. They pose zero threat. Like, not even a little. Uh, we're way faster than them at this point. And we can take them down in one hit. It's, like, not even a challenge anymore. So look at that. It's pathetic. But they were good They were good for farming woo beans, so that was... They at least served their purpose in that front. I'll grab a chuckle bean right there. Um, I don't want to go that way yet. That way leads to more powerful enemies. I do want to jump on that thing, though, so I can fight it. Uh, this video, <laughs> see look, Sharpie just died in one hit. One hit! And a first strike! I mean, I guess that is one thing they do have. The first attack, while well, I say that you should have a first attack badge, uh, your first attack, attack will probably take out weaker enemies. Like, look at that. That's so funny though, to see, but... So I guess they do kind of have it inadvertently, but that little pathetic skirmish was enough for level 15! Do your dance, Mario. Do your dance, do your dance. Let's go for HP! Four! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Excellent. Okay, let's go. Okay, keep note of these things. Remember, when I say, now where were all those things? You guys have to say, Shadow Mario, there was one there! So remember, these fl flower circles, there is one here. We will come back to those much later. Anyway, this is where we have to go now, as you can tell by all these Bean Bean Knights kind of standing around. Let's battle a Parabini. I know some of you guys were complaining about. Uh, there are a lot of battles. Oh god, Parabini. See, look, these guys are just pathetic at this point. Um, but this part of the game really does just have a lot of battles. Like, Woohoo University is battles. Like, that's what it is. So, and puzzles. <laughs> battles and puzzles. So you have to, you know, you kind of have to understand. I will tr try to cut some stuff, but, you know, it is a lot of battles, just by nature. So, uh, it is what it is. Anyway, those guys are just fought. I think this is a dead end. No, it's not. Those guys are troopies. I guess like one million troopies. <laughs> I love that. Movie. Um, I gotta grab a chocolate bean. Uh, they're the Bean Bean Castle Kingdom. Why do I, I don't know why I keep saying Bean Bean Castle. Bean Bean Kingdom variant of Koopa Troopas. They kind of work the same way, although one thing I do want to show you is if you try to hammer these things, they withdraw, and you literally do nothing. Or you do one, so I guess not nothing, but any attack that's not a jump attack is useless, even if it's a bros attack. They also have the annoying ability to heal using ice crystals or water or whatever that shit is. Oh, these guys are good to farm woo beans too, so this is good. Actually, if you just make a drink with woo beans, we didn't make that. I think it's the woo woo blend. Uh, it actually raises your Mario, your uh, Mario Bros. Max HP. Plural, possessive there. Mario Bros. Max HP. Um, so that's good. You can uh, essentially get infinite HP. Although I guess not infinite. I guess it would be like 999 or something. But whatever. So HP is really not a problem. In no, other no words, you don't have to worry about your stat and HP getting too far behind. Anyway, this is Woohoo University. It's our first day at school, children. Doesn't this look like a fun place to go to school? Uh, not really. It looks pretty shitty. Eek! Run! Oh, oh god. It's the scientists. It's like Goldeneye. You can kill the scientists. And the last one trips. Of course the last one trips. Dot, dot, dot. Jump, jump, jump. Nah, jump! Okay, that apparently meant something in Mario Brothers language. And up here we have a fallen scientist. Oh my god. 
Kekletter and his crew snuck into the Hooniversity. They transformed all the Hooniversity professors into monsters. Like, this kind of sounds like Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> and it's like, come to think of it, I'm starting to feel a little funny. Monster. Wow. Real live. Monster change? Or real time? I don't know why I said real live. Anyway, this is probably one of the only forced... Well, I guess this isn't really forced. You can skip this guy. But forced enemy encounters. That's not a boss. This is the laser snippet. Uh, we will encounter a ton of laser snippets here. But these guys shoot lasers. They're pretty cool. We'll see more of them later. Don't worry. So with that guy out of the way, we can continue on. So now Woohoo University uh, is kind of as you'd expect since it is a university, like a school. It is uh, puzzles. There's a lot of puzzles here. But first I'm going to grab that invisible Hubeen. And I'm also going to grab some stuff up here. I believe there's a syrup. I'm a super mushroom. Not bad. Not bad. So yeah, this puzzles and battles. That's what the Woohoo University is. It's puzzles and battles. So th yeah, there will be a lot of both here. Anyway, grab that Hubeen. <laughs> Didn't I say who beans were rare? We seem to be getting a lot of them. But, no, they, I'm, I'm telling you they are, they are rare. You just get a bunch of them right now. But, trust me. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe maybe they're not as rare as I think they are. But, hey, that's good for me too. So, I think you need you need a minimum of 20, no, 35 who beans if you want to make every uh, thing in star beans. So, you do have to be on the lookout for invisible blocks. Although, I guess... Again, you can't really see <laughs> invisible blocks, but whatever. Uh, you have to just kind of look for, look for suspicious areas. Anyway, these enemies are probably the most ridiculous, dumb-looking, stupid enemies in the whole game. The Yobro. It's a gangster hammer brother with a fez, a purple outfit, and yo-yos. Like it's a gangster. Like it's a cool, hip gangster with yo-yos. It's sucking like that. 1800 style gangster. I don't know, when did yo-yos first come out? That's a good question, I don't even know. But he's like, yeah, I got my yo-yos and my flippy floppies. <laughs> anyway. Now I'm gonna start singing that. But uh, this guy, he's really easy to dodge. He has a, the yo-bros have a ton of health, but they're easy to dodge. I mean, a ton of health for this point in the game. Uh, the laser snippets have two possible attacks. This is their, the only one you're seeing right now. That's the one they most commonly use. But they can also go right up to you and then shoot. But when they do that, you do not want to move. Like a fake attack, like Tolstar. Tolstar did that. Tried to bounce things at us. But anyway, Luigi got to level up. Don't want to ignore that fact. But I do want to raise his speed. Come on, get a little faster. Nah. Eh, two. I would have liked four, but we, we skipped like three fours on the way to that two. Anyway, yeah, look at all these enemies. There's just a lot of battles in Woohoo University. There's really nothing you can do about it. But I will try to actually use Bros attacks a little more often to take them down because I do want to get the advanced commands of my Bros attacks. Also, these guys are faster than me because they're attacking first. Let's go with Splash Bros on the Yo Bro. Yeah, I can do these Bros attacks. That's right. I got these commands down. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I didn't want to run. Oh, well. I guess I'm still running away. Uh, if you run away, you have to mash the buttons repeatedly. You can probably hear, like, the wire of my controller hitting against the table. Um, and if you don't make it out, you drop coins along the way, so... That is important. But, anyway, I got to show running away, at least. I don't know. Look at the positives there. I could have killed those things easily, though. Anyway. Lost experience. No, no point in crying over spilled milk, so... Let's continue to fight these things. I, again, I do want to get the advanced versions of these brothers' attacks. I missed that. Missed the hammer strike there. Right after I said, yeah, I got these brothers' attacks down. Oh, fake, huh? Trying to be all cool and gangster and hip. Look at that. He's all like, yeah, bro. Up in the hood. Up in here. West side. Okay, here we go. Star. I, I have to be almost at advanced Smash Brothers by now. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna skip that guy because I ran away from him. Uh, let's fight this guy though. Yeah, again, a lot of battles. That's that's just the dent. That's the deal. Um, so laser snippets. I like the look of laser snippets though. You know, out of all the uh, enemies in this game, laser snippets are pretty cool. I, they're probably some of my favorite enemies because. 
they're a really interesting variation of Sniffin. Um, I actually like the Bullet Bill enemies that we'll see later. There's a variation of Bullet Bill enemies. But anyway, Mario level 16. Um, a lot of games, or a lot of gamers rather, complain about the lack of, uh, you know, there should just be like Koopa Troopa. Hey, plus four, I'll take that. There should just be Koopa Troopa and Goomba. There, there is Goomba, but you know, just standard Mario enemies in a Mario RPG. Oh, hey, there, speaking of standard Mario enemies, there's a familiar foe from really not Mario, Dr. Mario. It's the virus. And the virus is a big pain in the ass, but this is an Eker. And Eker is also another pain in the ass. But the thing about viruses, they didn't even give me a ch chance to explain before they just die. Um, if you make all the viruses on screen the same color, they die. I mean, you could also take them out normally too, but when you can just make them all die, why would you even bother trying to take them out normally? Ah, uh, yo bros. So yeah, see, that's where you wouldn't jump. When he runs directly up to you like that. Oh, god. No, I didn't want to run. Why don't I keep pressing run? I don't want to run. Damn it, see all these coins I'm dropping? I, I don't want to do that. I want to fight these guys. I don't want to run from them. See, I'm going to just engage them in battle again. <laughs> and now... Okay, that's kind of weird. There's randomly now two laser sniffets and one Yobro. Maybe it's... You know, I never even thought of that. This could be random. You know, what enemy is actually in the party. That's interesting. I, I never even considered that. Anyway, let's just uh, do this. Ah, oh, I missed that last one. I always miss that last one. Ah, uh, knock back. Ah, uh, laser sniffet. Take that guy out. That's weird though, you'd think it would be the same. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would change unless they had, in that two seconds, like the other Yobro was like, I'm out of here. Like, I'm retiring before they change the pension plans. He just got the hell out. Another laser sniff it came up as an intern. Whatever, he's dead. Hey, just trying to, you know, spice it up a little bit. Battles can get boring, I know. Now here's a little divot here we can grab a chuckle bean oh we got a high jump to get back up there no not that high jump thank you i don't know the virus might as well fight it a lot of battles a lot of battles anyway i didn't get a chance to really talk about eekers eekers are <laughs> exactly they are strange like flasks with hula skirts yeah that's just weird ow ow that did a lot of damage uh so yeah they're, they're just strange. Don't let them use that attack, though. They were just trying to use an attack where they uh, charge up a little bit and then rush in at you. Don't let them use that, because that hurts. Anyway, this is a uh, little block laboratory. I don't think there's really a point to this area of the game. It's just a nice little reference. I don't know. It's kind of cool, because look up here. We have the prototype blocks for all of... For, uh, not all of the previous Mario games. For some previous Mario games. Made of secret materials from the Mushroom Kingdom. Metallic is quite popular. Yeah, it is. Block used in Super Mario World. Made of light, shiny material. Somewhat shock absorbent. Huh. Pretty cool. Block used in Super Mario 64. Apparently analyzing the new technology that makes it vanish when struck. Yeah, that's true. When it gets hit, it like bursts apart. Remember? It's like... And it comes out. This made of soft material. It's actually quite hard for professionals only. That's right. Because Paper Mario is for pros only. Uh, anyway, here's a rally block. We'll be encountering those later. And a random block. I'm not going to really hit them now. I mean, you can practice on them. I guess that's what they're here for. Just so you can practice. For when you actually find real ones that give you coins. Those don't give you anything. So I'm not going to waste my time on those. I am, however, going to heal before I fight more enemies. Because, see, we learn. This is how we learn. Heal. Um, so I do like the inclusion of viruses, though. The viruses, first of all, they're awesome. Um, and second of all, they can, they can just die, which is pretty funny. Don't let those guys charge up that attack. That's really annoying. Um, and all the viruses actually behave a little differently. Uh, the yellow virus, red virus, and blue virus actually all attack in different ways and wander on the overworld map in different patterns. So that's kind of cool. I, I like those interesting touches. Ah, oh, there we go. Blue. Become blue. Okay. Wow. I have to, I have to figure out how to dodge that. I know there's a way. I, f I forget. It's something to do with... I think if you, like... Moves, moves his, you know, I don't really know what to call it. Moves his hips, because he doesn't have hips, it's a flask. Moves his flask once. Then he, uh, oh god. Super angry now. Super serial. Oh god. Oh god. Ow. Oh my god. 
I just did 15 damage. This is why you don't let them charge up that attack. Wow, that just kicked my ass. Damn it, I deserve level 17 for that. Because that battle kicked my ass. Anyway, what'll it be for Luigi? Let's go with attack power. Attack power looks pretty good. Attack power looks really good. Plus three. I'll take it. Alright, so up here we have... What is this place? More enemies. More enemies. So many enemies. This level. This level. I'll bypass those. We don't need to fight those. More enemies. More enemies. Oh, I know what's up there. Okay. That's the next major thing that we have to do in the Woohoo University. But here's some new enemies. So that's pretty cool. Oh, these guys are... I think Mecha Chomps. I think that's the name of it. Yep, Mecha Chomps. And Mecha Chomps are kind of like robotic chain chomps, as their name suggests. And every time you attack them, they will actually change target. Unless they are flashing like that with electricity. I think I have to use my hammer when they're flashing or else you get shocked. But uh, see how that visor is red? He's going to attack Mario. And now, see, yeah, he'll attack Luigi if the visor turns green. But when he's electrified like that, he'll actually attack the opposite Mario brother to what his visor or display stops at. So that's kind of an interesting little touch. Uh, I guess he gets electrified and malfunctions when you, you know, lower his health so much, but... I'll probably be able to show it off right here. Yeah, see? Whatever he changes to, he'll actually attack the opposite one. So go for Luigi. Damn it. I knew he was going to do that, and I was still tricked. Still. Anyway. Uh, just jump over the laser snippets. They are very easy to avoid. No problem at all. Oh, you can jump on them. Okay, so the electricity doesn't count as being spiked or, you know, giving you damage or anything like that. Jeez. Those things are fast, though. They don't seem like their attacks are all that fast, but they are. Oh, this battle's taking a long time. Alright, I might, I might try to dish out the bros' attacks here. Let's splash bros on this laser sniffet. This poor laser sniffet. Didn't know what was coming. Boom! Uh, I should just be able to jump on the mecha chomp and take it out. Yeah, low health. Okay, don't move! Remain perfectly still. Okay. I'm on that final laser sniffet. And one more jump should finish it off. Nice. Good experience, though. You do get a lot of experience from fighting enemies in here. So definitely take advantage of that. In fact, I am going to fight this one last guy before closing out the video. <laughs> a really good way to end. Level 17. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, what should we upgrade here? Not sure. Not too sure, but I think I'm going to go with uh, some defense. Because we haven't upgraded Mario's defense in a little while. Two. I would have liked a little better, but as long as it's not one, I really can't complain. Anyway, this is Shadow Mario 41. Next time, we're going to go in this room and see what's in here. I don't very much like this room. <laughs> I really hate this room. So, see you guys then. Ciao.